Hey loves, this is Bobby and I'm here with another video. And this is going to be my second Desert-a-thon TBR video. I am so excited to get into this. I had a really fun time doing the first one. Um, I will be doing these every Sunday until I finish the board. So let's see. I'm going to be going with four rolls this time instead of the six because I do have Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson on this TBR and that book is 1200 plus pages. And yeah, that counts like as four freaking books. So I gotta make my way. Even though I'm doing the audiobook, the audiobook alone is still like 50 some hours long. I only listen to my audiobooks while I'm at work or on my days off when I am like cleaning and stuff and I'm not able to sit down and read. So yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get through that one. So I'm only gonna do four rolls this time around, but I am excited to get into it. Um, I stopped on spot number 39 out of 62. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. So uh, let's get into the rolling. Okay. Here with my setup again, here's my dice, there's my board, there's my paper. I finished on spot number 39 and there's my prompt list. So let us do this. As I said, I'm gonna be doing four rolls um, because Rhythm of War is just too long and I ain't gonna gamble that much with it. So roll number one, we got five. So from 39, we got one, two, three, four, five. 44. 44 is a book with lore. Okay, so roll number two. Six. So from 44, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty. And fifty is a standalone. Okay, roll number three. Four. So from 50, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 54. And that is Arabian Inspired. Alrighty, last roll. Two. Okay, so 54. We're going to go two, one, two. That is 56. 56 is to go to 59. 59 is book with sword fights. Ooh, that is a good one. Okay, so I'm on 59. There's only three more, well, two more spots because 50, uh, because 62 is the final prompt and everyone has to do that one. And that is to read a desert vibe book. So I'm just going to finish this off. Um, I did not think I was going to finish this TVR thing so fast, so... We will have to see what I figure out to do later, but I'm just going to roll one more time. If I get anything higher than two, I have officially finished. So let's see. I got two. So, um, all right. So from 59, 60, 61, uh, prompt 61 is new world. So my four books turned into six books, but I'm done with rolling. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the month. I think I might just stick with my TBR jar, but yeah. So I have finished the board, which is awesome. And I'm excited to see what books I pick out. So I will catch you in a minute. Bye. Okay. So this did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Um, yeah. So as you saw, I ended up just finishing because I'm like, I only have two spots left, so I literally only have to roll a three or higher. I've got this, so of course I rolled a two. So yeah, that is, um, mm, mm, mm. So I ended up, instead of four, I ended up with, what, six books I think it is? And yeah, so that didn't go, but I'm officially done with this. What I'm gonna do though is, um, if I do make my way through quite a few of these, which I don't think I'll have too much of a problem, but I don't know with um, Rhythm of War that is going to throw me off, I will continue to do what I did last month and just pick my the rest of my TBR for the month once I get all of these taken care of um, out of my TBR jar. I had a lot of fun doing the weekly kind of TBRs, but I'm going to focus on getting all of these done because I know Rhythm of War is going to take me a while and that audiobook is just going to like drain everything out of me. Even though I'm super excited and I can't wait to get into it, it's just so long and I'm not used to dedicating that much time for one book to uh, one audiobook. I don't mind physical books that take me that long, but audiobooks that take me that long, it kind of like 
I'm ready to move on. I'm so used to like getting in multiple like four at least audiobooks a week so to only get one in I think in probably two weeks. I don't know how I'm gonna do this but okay. So let's get into the TBR. Okay, so for the first role, as you saw, it was the prompt of a book featuring lore. Um, I'm kind of stretching this one a bit because I just really, really want to read this book and I'm going to make it fit no matter what. Like I was determined to get this onto any TBR I possibly could because I just want to read this book because I fell in love with the first book last month. So for the prompt of lore, I'm going to be going with The Heart Forger by Rin Chepeko. This is the second book in the Bone Witch trilogy. I actually do not know if that's the name of the trilogy, but that's, it just says Bone Witch, so I'm going with that. I absolutely loved The Bone Witch. It was a four-star book. It was absolutely amazing. I have no doubt on my ma mind that one of these books in the series is going to be a five-star, but as for the lore, this is a fantasy book. All fantasy books, I feel, have their own lore in them. Like, honestly, if I want to stretch it far enough, you really you really can. But we're following the story of a young girl named Taya, or Tia. Um, it's spelled T, but I think it's Tia. Um, her sisters have powers. It comes out that T, uh, Tia, or Taya, actually has powers as well. Um, but she has forbidden powers, and that is the power of necromancy. She is a bone witch, and this is frowned upon in her, like, really small kind of village and a lot of other small villages is just seen that this is a dark power. She gets taken to a, like, the bigger kind of, like, capital type of place, and, um, bone witches are actually seen as an, a, a commodity because they're able to bring back the dead. They're able to kind of, like, rise kind of armies and stuff like that, um, this is a really dark book, well, Bone Witch was, but I loved it. The writing was amazing. The uh, mythology that was going on was amazing. Um, the characters I loved, I hated, I was just so invested. And then the way the story is being told is that we're taking Taya at the, at when she's older, she's telling her story to someone else about what went on because she is now living in exile and she's telling her story and how it gets there. So we already kind of know her ending, but not her true ending because there's other deeper plots happening. I can't wait for those to come into play as well as um, her brother who she loves with all her heart. Um, at the end, we kind of she mentions kind of something that happened and it's like, wait, what, how, how can we get there? So I am so excited. Like I said, I was going to put this on here no matter what. Like I said, I'm kind of stretching it with the lore, but it does have its own lore with the, you know, the different types of magic and these different creatures and everything. So I am excited. This is like one of my most hyped books to get to. I was determined to get it on a TBR this month because I want to finish this series. If I can get the third book on this month, I will as well. But I've got a pretty big stack of books still to go, so we'll see about that. But definitely, I want to finish the series because the first book was just amazing. Okay, so as you saw, this one is for Standalone, and I'm going to be going with a completely new purchase from me. I saw the author on um, Twitter, and the book just sounded adorable, and I also have a prompt for a contemporary on my uh, book bingo four square thing that I do on Facebook. Um, so this one fits and it fits as a standalone because as of right now it's a standalone and I cannot wait to get to it. And that is Meet Cute Diaries by Emery Lee. Um, we are following the story of a, a young trans boy who he has this online forum where he posts different stories from trans couples that have had like that, you know, meeting meet cutes. They're kind of happily happy ever afters. Um, well, it comes out that the all of the stories on his website are actually lies and he wants to prove that they're true and he wants to give other trans people, you know, hope about finding true love and everything. He starts fake dating um, one of his uh, uh, fellow students. This just sounds absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to get this. As soon as I get to this one, as soon as I saw what this book was about, I was like, I need this. I bought it immediately and I'm like, it's so cute. The cover is adorable. I can't wait to get to this one. I'm hoping to get to it um, really, really soon. I'm working on a really big um, physical book right now that's kind of daunting. I'm loving it, but it's like, it's just really big, but I'm hoping to get to this before the end of the month. So yes. 
Okay, so this next one was for Arabian Inspired, and I wasn't really sure. I knew I had one book for sure, but I have already read a book by this author this month, and I didn't want to read another one because I'm still kind of, like, disappointed in that last book. So I just kind of went on Goodreads, looked up Arabian Inspired books. Um, I saw that We Hunt the Flame is on there. I literally just finished reading it. Um... The day before I am filming this video, I just finished that book, and honestly, that book would have fit into this TBR perfectly, but I had added it to my uh, May the Force read with you before I even decided I was going to be doing this readathon. So yeah, I kind of messed myself up there. But this one came up, and honestly, this book has been on my TBR for a long time now, and I've had it recommended to me a lot. And then when I was looking up books and this one came up, um, one of my recent absolute new top favorite books of all time got recommended. If you like that book, you'll like this one. And that is going to be The Gollum and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. Um, we're following the story of this golem that ends up in New York and he meets up with a Ginny and they kind of become friends. It's like a historical fiction with fantasy elements to it. Um, all I, I, I've heard so many amazing things and I've had this recommended to me a lot over the years. It was why I bought it and I just never picked it up. Um, but I just read The Baron Nightingale and they say if you love that book, you'll love this one and vice versa. So I to say I'm having high expectations is a understatement but I'm still trying to go in not expecting too much because The Baron and Nightingale was absolutely phenomenal. It is one of my new all-time favorite books. That book nearly made me cry a few times and I'm not a crier so I am expecting to love this one. I'm very excited to get to it. I don't like I said I don't know too much about it and I really don't want to know all that much about it. I just know that it takes place in like 1899. So I'm really excited for this one, but yeah, I kind of want to go into this one a little surprised and not know what to expect because that's how I went into the Baron Nightingale. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, if this doesn't actually fit this prompt and you know for sure, please let me know so I can pick something else. But it just came up for Arabian inspired books. Um, the other one I had was The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, but I just read um, The Damned and I was highly disappointed in that book and I'm not ready to dive back into that author right now. I'm still being a little bitter. Um, um, but yeah, I'm, I hope this fits. I really want to read this. Like I said, it's just been, it's been on my TBR for years and years and years and years and years. And it's been reckon, recommended to me so many times that I feel really bad and I feel like I really need to get to this. Um, the next one is Book with a Sword Fight, as you saw. Um, this is the one that I'm currently reading physically, but I am not even like 20% into this book so I'm going to count it and this is one of the only books besides Rhythm of War that I've allowed myself to cross over into uh, both of my um, readathon TBRs. I'm very excited for this one. I'm loving it so far but it definitely features a lot of sword fights and that is Malice by John Gwynn. Chunky Chunky Boy, I um, am reading this one physically. It's been a while since I read a book this size physically, but I am loving it. Like, I am literally still at the very, very beginning. Um, I was hoping I was going to be able to get this onto this TBR just so I can feel better about it doing uh, technically triple duty because I am putting it onto the Connect 4 as well. But yes. I am very excited and it has a sword on the cover and so far we've already had sword fights so yes this is definitely is very heavy on the sword fights. Okay so for this one as you saw it is New World. Um, I had no idea what to pick. Honestly New World you can kind of go with anything fantasy, sci-fi, anything that takes place somewhere new to you. Um, I was trying to go through my Connect 4 board and I have most of my prompts already picked out for that one. I should probably, I, I, I talk about those in my vlog because it's just kind of a low key one that I do. Um, and one of the prompts that I did have was a book with a purple cover and I was trying to get something with a purple cover. I have rainbow stacks on my sideboard of my bed. So I have like a good chunk of purple ones and this one actually fits this readathon really well. So I definitely wanted to go with it and when it had the purple cover and it is a new world to me because I don't really know too much about it. But I'm here for it because the cover is beautiful and it fits purple. It fits this readathon and it fits this prompt. And that is Mirage by Samaya Dowd. Um, this, we are following the story of a girl who actually, um, she's like poor, lives in a really small village, and she ends up being like a doppelganger almost for the like 
crown princess who is this terrible person that people are trying to kill like she's just kind of awful and she ends up as the body double for this princess but I believe this is like Moroccan inspired but yeah I don't know too much about it but it sounded really cool I like the whole kind of body double princess and the prince oh what is it the prince and the pauper type of storyline I want to see how that goes um but yeah if you've read this one let me know like I said I've actually never really seen anything about this one but it sounds like it's going to be a really cool kind of fun read um I just hope it's really fast paced and a cool book. So for this last one, this is the book you have to read to finish the board and everyone has to read a book like this and it is a desert vibe book. Um, I have quite a few books on this TBR and my other TBR that were desert vibes. Uh, we Hunt the Flames would have been perfect. Um, so I kind of just went through my books and when I was going, I've had this one on my shelf and it was a really hyped book and then it came out and I didn't hear all that much about it but I still really want to read it because the cover is absolutely beautiful and it sounded like definitely a really fast paced cool book that I would definitely like. Um, and when I was reading this description, like literally I think the first sentence mentions it's in a desert. So that fits perfect. And that is going to be A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. Um, this is following the story of a brother and sister travel into this um, new desert kind of town and when they get there the sister is taken for payment to enter the city. To get his sister back he's told that he has to kill the princess of this city and um, he ends up entering this I think it's kind of like a battle royale or tournament type of thing where the um, princess is actually entered as well and she's gonna try and kill him because she wants to win because she has like her own ideas and stuff that she wants to do it sounds really cool it takes place in a desert and I wanted to take something a little different from some of the other ones um but yeah I wanted to read this when it first came out. I bought it pretty fast and I never got around to actually reading it, which if you haven't noticed is a general theme for me. But yeah, I'm very excited for this. I can't wait to get to it. Yes. So there we go. That wraps up this TBR. Um, as you saw though, I totally ended up finishing the board faster than I thought. I don't know why I kept getting such high rolls. It just even the first week I got a lot of fives and sixes this time I got four five and a six I believe it was but yeah I, I don't know I did not think I was gonna finish this fast I thought I was gonna at least get another week so when I finish this kind of TBR pretty good I don't have that many books um, left I will end up doing another TBR pick out of my jar and that'll just be my TBR for the rest of the month once I finish this though I these are some chunky books I hopefully can get through all of them pretty soon but yes there we go. I hope you like this. Um, tune in. I'm not sure what Sunday I might do a next one. Um, it'll just kind of depend on how I get all th to get through this TBR. But thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll drop all the social media links down below as well as the link to this readathon. It is not too late. You can definitely join in. It's really fast paced, really fun, and you can kind of read as many books as you want, as many not. You can double up. I just don't double up because I read so many books in a month. But yes, but yeah, take care and happy reading. Bye!